Hello, this is Detatan from VP Universe, and we are in this series of video tutorials for colorizing DMD. With the very latest version, uh, version 1.23, there is a new feature that is the importation of images and video, and we'll have a look to uh, right away how it looks like. So let me take an example on uh, World Poker 2, which is a basic colorization I made to do some testing. So here, let's uh, have a look, for example, at the in, uh, title screen. You can see that uh, over the title, uh, I've made a, a green gradient, which is not very good looking. So I'd like uh, to, uh, I would like to change this um, in order to uh, to replace it and having a, a more, let's say, casino-like uh, background. So uh, to do that, I will take the advantage of this new feature. How it works is that uh, we will be using this image window here and the main window colorizing DMD. Um, so uh, first I will need to select a zone, uh, an area where I want to import the image. It can be whatever the, uh, the, um, the shape that we want. Uh, so uh, and the image will just match the shape here. Uh, so let me show you, I will uh, let's say, for example, take this one. So this is a picture. Here you can see that depending on the, the shape that I will be using, let's say I take a, a small uh, like one, quite square, uh, you can see that the, here the, um, the area, the shape of the area matches the shape that I've been drawing. If I extend this or if I take several areas like that, it will take the gross dimension of the external shape in order to, again, try to match uh, the area. Once I've done that, it's quite uh, easy, quite straightforward. I just need in the palette of the, of the frame, so the same that we have here and that is replicated here, we need to specify how many colors we want to use and which colors. So I will take, let's say, the latest, uh, the, the last ones. So uh, I will take half of the palette, 32 colors, because it's quite colored, this one, and I will click on Copy. Uh, clicking on copy, you see that it, it's been pasting here uh, in the selection zone uh, the exact uh, uh, image here. So it's not really relevant. Let me take uh, a better demonstration with the full zone. Maybe not because there is a logo, so I will take only the black uh, background for it. And I will select, well, I can select almost everything. I see that. Uh, uh, these colors are not used, so I will take the maximum of the palette uh, that is available and I will click on copy. And here I've got the screen, so you can see here in, in, in below that we have uh, the image that has been imported. So it's really quick, really straightforward, and this way you can uh, easily uh, add some images uh, to the content of your, of, your, um, uh, of your room and of your colorization project. Another demonstration, uh, let's say it's for this, uh, this one, you see that uh, in this uh, room there is uh, some fireworks, so fireworks is uh, already always very nice to see uh, and you're very happy to have that when you are when you're playing, but it's not always so good looking. So here on this one I will try and show you how I can use uh, the video of a fireworks to import it and to make it look a bit more, let's say, nice. Uh, so this time I will take the same screen, but I will open not uh, an image here, but I will choose a video. Yeah, I need to change. I need to change here, uh, taking the video uh, to search for it. Let's say I take a number one, and I need to um, for a video I will select several frames. So I need to select continuously uh, the frames. So uh, let's say all the frames that are linked to fireworks. So I've got 31 that are selected for now. And I will need on this, uh, on this frame to select the, the area where I want the video to, uh, to put the image on. So I will take everything uh, because uh, this is the point. I want to replace all the screen. But uh, as for is the, ima the image, it can just uh, adapt to the shape that I will be, uh, that I will be using. So here, uh, I've got a cursor that can help me to navigate into the video. So the way it works, because we need to have a very precise uh, position, uh, is you, you choose here 
the um, the uh, scale of the of the cursor so it can be in hour in minutes in seconds so I will say in minutes and if I want to go a bit more in detail I will take the seconds to have a look at it and then to define the time that I'd like to see for example this one could be good between these two ones what I will do then I will set frame and go a bit more in detail to try and find the exact starting frame that is that will be nice for me so I think let's say this one uh, will be a good starting point then I will need to specify whether I want to use the frame duration so you can see here in yellow the uh, duration of the frame so 60 milliseconds more or less uh, so either it can match the original time frame for the um, for the video either I can uh, tick myself I, I can uh, sorry uh, enter manually the um, the duration that I'd like to like 20 seconds 30 seconds 300 whatever uh, it's up to me to choose so for this video let's say that I will use the same uh, frame duration as the one on the room and I will just have a look to see uh, if it matches uh, what I was expecting if uh, I extend a bit the the um, the, uh, the window. You can see here that I can uh, change the brightness and the contrast of the uh, of the video. That can help uh, to to enhance a bit the uh, rendering for for the uh, for for our DMD's screen. So uh, do not hesitate to have a look and to uh, to play a bit with these two cursors in order to uh, to, to to match uh, what would be uh, better. Again, I need to tick. What are the uh, palette colors that I want to use? So this time for the video, as I am replacing the whole screen, I will use the whole size uh, available for the palette. And then I just need to click on copy. And by clicking on copy, I'll just have a warning message here. Click OK. And then just a few seconds after, I've got here all the frames that have been importing to the screen. To be honest, it's not the best uh, rendering or it's not the best thing I was expecting. So perhaps I can uh, try and find something that will be a bit more colorful and that will be nicer. Yeah, okay, like this one, for example, looks better. So I will just reset the, um, yes, I will just reset here the content of all the frames there are still 31 that are selected I will just select the zone again let's have a look and yeah position the side of the window I think to the right positioning perhaps I will increase a bit uh, it was more or less 16 let's say that I would take 200 milliseconds to have uh, more fireworks popping out and uh, let's try like that to see how it, uh, how it will look like so to be honest, it's better that uh, that you use, of course, videos that you know very well. You can use uh, a video player like VLC that to to uh, especially uh, notice exactly the, um, the the part of the video that would that you would like to use. But still, see, finding quite uh, quite nice to uh, to see a firework like that on the DMD screen. So, as you can see, it was very easy to do so. Another demonstration, uh, perhaps with a video that will be uh, a bit brighter. Here, there is a plane, you know, there is just a flying. So, I will use the same. Again, I click here. I will select here videos. I'm looking for video number three, which is the third one that I recorded. I will use here the cursor to uh, identify um, the area where I want to, uh, that I want to import. Uh, I must not forget to select uh, the uh, the shape of the of the uh, importing zone. Here I've got that Airbus looks good. Yeah, looks quite good. Uh, perhaps yeah, this one with the blue sky would be a bit uh, nicer. I will use the same 200, which makes some good uh, good results it seems. And I click on copy. And again, this is how you can very quickly import a video of a flying machine. Very nice. So 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. As you can see, it's very straightforward. Uh, I'm very looking into uh, seeing what you can do and how you will uh, implement uh, this feature and how you will be able to take the advantage of it and use it to, uh, to propose very nice um, imported videos or images in your projects. So do not hesitate to share uh, your, your, your feedback and, uh, and of course the progress of your project uh, in the Discord and you will have the link in the description to join us uh, there. Thanks for watching the video and see you soon for more content.